Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry shares a special video message about the Invictus Games. Like many public events, the Invictus Games 2020 has been postponed. To mark what would have been the event's opening ceremony, Prince Harry recorded a special video message which has been shared on the organization's social media channels. Prince Harry set up the Invictus Games to support injured and disabled service people all over the world. The Duke of Sussex is the patron of the Invictus Games, so it makes sense that he'd want to share some words on what would have been its opening night. To introduce the special message, the official Invictus Games Instagram account wrote, as Invictus Games 2020 prepare to bring The Hague home to you this year, the Invictus Games Foundation patron, the Duke of Sussex, has shared a video message of support for the competitors, their friends and families, and all those who were preparing to cheer on international wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women this May. In particular, Prince Harry addressed the fact that life has changed dramatically for all of us due to the pandemic. Back in March, Prince Harry spoke of the postponement and revealed, this decision was the most sensible and the safest option for all of you and all of your families and everybody else involved in these games. This decision was taken in consultation with the participating nations teams and in close coordination with local and national authorities to limit the impact of the pandemic on all parties involved in the delivery of and particularly participation in the games. Hello everybody. As we commemorate VE Day this weekend and pay tribute to the service and sacrifice of the entire Second World War generation, we should have also been gathering together in the Netherlands to kickstart the Invictus Games 2020 in The Hague. Life has changed dramatically for all of us since I was last in The Hague, but the IG 2020 team has done an incredible job to adapt so quickly to the situation and they are busy putting plans in place for next year. The new dates will be shared with you very soon. I hope all of those in the Invictus family are coping well and supporting each other through this challenging time. I continue to hear amazing stories of families coming together over online platforms, but please look out for those that have gone quiet or that are no longer visible on the chat sites. You guys are the best at this, so I have no doubt that you're all rallying around and supporting one another. Although we can't be together in person, I'm really happy that there are plenty of virtual activities planned for this week. And I encourage you all to get involved if you can, um, because you never know, it might be fun and a change from the norm. Throughout this week, we will be seeing and hearing from many Invictus competitors. Their experience and resilience in dealing with mental health challenges is something we can all learn lessons from. The same can obviously uh, be said for our incredible healthcare professionals working so hard to keeping us all safe. Alongside all the virtual activity from the team in The Hague, I'm delighted that the Invictus Games Foundation will be hosting a virtual conference with international speakers and participants sharing their thoughts and experience of resilience and why the Invictus spirit is so important. I'm incredibly grateful uh, for your continued support. Stay safe and this week, stay tuned as we bring The Hague home to you. Another report. The real reason Prince Harry misses his old life. Prince Harry made the move to Los Angeles with wife Meghan Markle and son Archie Harrison after the famous parents stepped down from their royal duties, but now it seems the Duke of Sussex misses his old life. According to The Telegraph, the prince told close friends that he feels he would have been better protected from the chaos he's faced in recent months if he was still in the army. He also reportedly said he cannot believe how his life has been turned upside down, and now that he's a normal U.S. resident, he misses the camaraderie of life as a soldier. As fans may know, Harry was stripped of his military appointments when he and Meghan left the monarchy on March 31, 2020. Since then, the two have been social distancing in California with their son, who turns one year old on May 6, 2020. Prince Harry is really missing the military. Prince Harry went on two tours of Afghanistan during his 10-year career in the army before leaving in 2015. Affectionately known as 
Captain Wales, in the forces. He retained the rank of major, and insisted upon his exit from the monarchy, that he would continue his unwavering support to the military community in a non-official capacity. Still, after Mexit, Harry was forced to give up certain honorary roles, including Captain General of the Royal Marines and Honorary Air Commandant of RAF Huntington. A source told The Telegraph, Harry has told friends he is really missing the army as well as military appointments, though he loves his wife and is happy with his decision to step down as a senior royal and army man. He doesn't know how things got so difficult. He was in a happy place when he was serving in the army. Then he met Meghan, and since then life has been great. But I don't think he foresaw things turning out quite as they did. While Harry misses his military appointments, it's unlikely he misses any of his royal duties. The prince told the Mail on Sunday in 2017 that he'd once wanted out of royal life for good. He also told Daily Mail royal reporter Rebecca English that he'd rather be a tour guide in Africa. Prince Harry's army life continues to affect him. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step down from the monarchy came after they suffered intense criticism in the media over their relationship, Meghan's background, and her alleged influence on the prince. During her time in the palace, sources branded her a diva duchess and bashed her for allegedly feuding with Kate Middleton and breaking British royal tradition. Eventually, the Sussexes decided to say goodbye to the royal family and move halfway across the globe. They've now settled in the former Suits actress hometown of Los Angeles. A source close to Harry told The Telegraph that the prince doesn't blame his wife for wanting to make the move. But there is just a sense that he might have been better protected if he was still in the army. Harry once said of his time as a soldier, from learning the hard way to stay on side with my color sergeant at Sandhurst, to the incredible people I served with during two tours in Afghanistan, the experiences I have had over the last ten years will stay with me for the rest of my life. For that, I will always be hugely grateful. Now, Harry still remains involved in the military community. He just launched a mental health initiative for military members, HeadFit, in April 2020. 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 Another analysis. Prince Harry's rapport with children shows aspects of his mother. Princess Diana has been deeply missed for over 20 years. She was truly an angel on earth, reaching out to those in need, and she never hesitated to go above and beyond for anyone who depended on her. Sadly, Prince Harry was only 12 years old when he lost his beloved mother, and he has always kept her memory alive through his royal duties, as well as his personal endeavors. Everyone knows Diana will never be forgotten, and it was in her nature to be especially loving toward children. Prince Harry is known to have a playful side, and over the years, we have seen him connecting with the younger royal fans in such a special way. He tends to gravitate towards children when he spots them in crowds, and he has a way of communicating with kids that makes them feel totally at ease. Now, a royal reporter says that Prince Harry's rapport with children shows aspects of his mother. Let's take a look. Prince Harry has a special connection with kids. We all know that Prince Harry has a soft spot for any child. There is just something in his personality that kids are drawn to, and according to Popsiger, there were many times when he showed off his silly side with young fans. Although Prince Harry connects well with any child, he is particularly caring toward those who are sick or have some sort of disability. This is evident in the work he has done as a royal, and even after Megxit, the Duke of Sussex is still as caring as can be. Even while he and Meghan are quarantined at home in Los Angeles, California, Prince Harry took the time to participate in a video call for parents of sick kids 
with the Well Child Children's Charity. Princess Diana was known for caring greatly about children. There are so many things that Diana is remembered for, but one thing that definitely stands out is how much she cared for kids. According to AARP, the princess absolutely adored kids, and judging from the many pictures, they loved her right back. Before her royal days, she worked with young children as a kindergarten aide, and was known for singling out kids during royal appearances, even crouching down to talk to them at eye level. She was compassionate and empathetic, and seemed to have a connection with her young royal fans that words just couldn't explain. Diana was one of the most caring royals that we can think of, and focused a great deal of her royal work on charities that had to do with the needs of kids. Not surprisingly, it was these skills that made her such an excellent mother to her two young sons, and it seems as if Prince Harry is working to carry on the legacy that his mother left behind all those years ago. Prince Harry's rapport with children shows aspects of his mother. Prince Harry reminds royal fans of his mother Diana in so many ways, especially when we observe his connection to kids. According to a royal reporter, he has Diana's touch when it comes to kids, and it definitely shows. He is so good at interacting with children who have special needs, and even his work with the Invictus Games reflects this. What else has Prince Harry done that shows just how much he cares for kids? He founded a charity that focuses on children with HIV, and the cause has been close to his heart for years. We know Prince Harry was very close to Diana, and picked up many of her amazing qualities. Looks like over two decades later, Diana's youngest son is still showing aspects of all the wonderful things she believed in. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.